Zero age main sequence is the lower left edge of the main sequence on the HR diagram representing a locus of stars just beginning their lives with sustained nuclear fusion within their cores. Now what does this mean? It's a lot of words. So let's focus on this main sequence of the HR diagram and this definition first. Below is a diagram courtesy of NASA and in, you will see individual dots on the diagram each representing a star. That we're, what we're plotting of the stars is they're comparing their surface temperatures to how bright the stars appear. Notice we see patterns. We see white dwarfs which are dead stars. We see fairly large stars that are just beginning to die. They're giant stars. We see even a larger group of stars, much larger than giants, called supergiants, that are also beginning to die. And then we see this nice diagonal from upper left to lower right on the diagram called the main sequence. We can consider these as adult stars. These are stars that are having sustained nuclear fusion in their cores. They are converting hydrogen into helium in the cores of their stars. Now what we mean by the lower left edge of the main sequence is this bottom portion of this, this main sequence. So if I just drew it in, it's just those stars, the locus of stars, that are on this very lower left edge of that main sequence. So this is what we call ZAMs or ZAM stars that are sitting on the main sequence but they're on the very lower left edge of the main sequence. What these ZAM stars are are stars that are just beginning their lives with sustained nuclear fusion. So you can think of these stars that are along this line the ZAMS line as stars that are just beginning nuclear fusion and they're ready to run their adult life with sustained nuclear fusion in their cores. They're not stars that are growing to become stars. They're not stars that are dying. They're the first day of their adulthood. So hence we call this the zero age main sequence and we want to age the stars from this point, the zero age, the day they first begin their sustained nuclear fusion within their cores.